Uh, my name is Kate Tully, and I'm an associate professor of agroecology at the University of Maryland, and I work on saltwater intrusion, which is affecting Maryland farmers. Saltwater intrusion is this landward movement of sea salts. And there are several causes. One is sea level rise rates, which are increasing all along the eastern seaboard. Any kind of groundwater extraction can also create a pocket or salt water can come in. So you can get the concentration of salt on the soil surface. You can even see it actually from aerial photographs, this sort of white crust on the top of the soil. Saltwater intrusion is occurring pretty rapidly in the Maryland, Delaware, and Virginia coastal counties. So we did a study recently that showed from about 2011 to 2019 that we saw a doubling of those salt patches just over that short time period. And then we also saw a loss of about 20,000 acres of farmland directly converting from a farm to a marsh just during that time period. My name is Wendell Meekins. Um, I'm the owner and operator of R&W Farms in Cambridge, Maryland. I'm a third generation farmer here in Dorchester County. Salt water has impacted my farm by decreasing yield. Two years ago I had an event that came through in mid-June that destroyed about 300 acres of crop that I had here on the, in the county. 100 acres of that has still not to this day recuperated. It's been a small problem for the 30 years plus that I've been farming myself, but it just increasingly in the last five years has become very, very prevalent and very, very known. It's not as if there's not, no options available. One thing that we have uh, seen in research is that if you do plant some grassy buffers along uh, the edges of agricultural fields, those can actually prevent storm surge, so it can help protect land upland. But we need to know how to manage them properly. So some things like making sure invasive species don't move into those areas, and making sure that those are uh, productive areas for wildlife and also for you know, bees and, and birds. So, so we have to think about um, how to manage these, these edges. My name is Karen Houtman. I am district manager for the Dorchester Soil Conservation District at the USDA Service Center in Cambridge, Maryland. The district really relies on working with our partners. What Mrs. Tully is doing is a perfect example of research and keeping on top of that, especially being that Dorchester and Somerset are two of the biggest impacted counties in the state of Maryland. The district is always here to meet with landowners, property owners, whether it's urban, agricultural. So I would just encourage anyone to reach out to us. We're here to help. Um, we may not always have the answers, but we can help you try and find them. What farming means to me, it's everything. It's my livelihood. It's how I raised my children. I just think that it's a, it's a great way to live. And um, I want to kind of battle some of these saltwater problems because it's getting more and more prevalent here in Dorchester County for future generations.